I believe it's some sort of ritual that goes back years and years. And there's all manner of different ideas. Some people think it's a pagan thing. Some people think it's to do with bringing in the spring and all this. I don't know. And in fact, they say when they wave the anchors, it's getting rid of the devil and all this. I don't know. No idea. It's just something, if you live in Bampton, that you tend to do. No one knows exactly again because, of course, years ago there weren't records. There's talk of it being 600 years old, which I don't think is right. It might be, but I think general school of thought is probably around about the 18th century, something like that. Everybody had Morris teams years and years ago. Everybody. Well, there would have been Morris teams in every village, I would say, or best part of anyway. But they all packed up different times, you know, and Bampton has continued on. <laughs> Role in the side musician, I suppose. 36 years. Our side, we got melodians, which is a type of squeeze box, and then fiddles. Six dancers for most of the dances, and a fool. You know, probably sitting the bloke going around with a dress or a frock, belting people with a bladder. I've been in the Morris dancing for uh, near enough 50 years. It's uh, a matter of keeping the dancers in order. It's a fertility dance. A lot of the dances are to usher the crops to come up or usher winter out. We just perambulate all day, gardens, outside some of the pubs, and we go and we do a dance in each place. They usually put on a little bit of a refreshment for you, you know. They're not obliged if they don't want it, but everyone does, more or less. <laughs> and on to the next. On the Monday, you have what they call the cake bearer, which is the guy that takes the cake round and people pay and have a bit of cake and it's supposed to bring you good luck and all the rest of it. And it's impaled on a sword, which apparently is supposed to make it into like a sacrifice. The tradition is that the sword is to drive through the cake and drive out the evil spirits. <laughs> I'm seven. Well, my grandpa Bill died, so I want to take his place. <laughs> Being a Morris dancer is easy living in Bampton because it's expected. And you go through school, like, you don't get the mickey taken at you or anything because it's just sort of, oh, they come from Bampton, you know, that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs>